Last week's scores for the challenge circuit ended up being pretty low. I was looking through them and there were some like 59s, 55 unders. I mean, that was not exactly what I was expecting, but I also don't know what the conditions were for all four rounds. I thought I shot a pretty okay round during the challenge circuit course guide, but man, you guys crushed it. So good job. Which brings us to this week, the Lake of Bays Classic. It is getting played at Matapori Match Club, made by Matt F. The conditions that you're going to have for round number one are default wind speed, default wind direction, firm fairways, firm greens, medium fast green speed. You're going to be playing at dawn and the weather is going to be clear. During practice rounds that I've shot, I have shot extremely well at this course. I mean, I put up a 13 under, 12 under, and we're gonna play this today. And uh, hopefully I can put up another monster round like that. The par fives are very easily gettable. The par threes are right in good range, at least for my bag to maybe put in a hole in one potentially, which would be awesome. And overall, the course is very scorable. You're gonna be hitting a lot of fairways. You're gonna be hitting a lot of greens. The greens aren't too difficult. Some of them, you know, you have to make maybe potentially a circus putt, but a lot of them, I mean, they're, they're not like rolling greens. There's some very flat putts that you're going to have. So I'm expecting a lot of people to score very well here at this course. But we're gonna head on out to the Lake of Bays Classic to Matapori Match Club and see if we can put together a good solid round. I love this course and I'm ready to play it again. So let's head on out. So here we are, hole number one. I mean, there's not gonna be a, a whole lot of, there's not a whole lot of tricks that come with this course. Um, there's some things that are, you know, like this, you can easily make it over here as long as you hit a perfect or maybe even a fast. The green kind of, or not the green, the fairway definitely works into your favor. If you pull it too far left, you will end up in the rough, but again, it doesn't really matter just because you have a short, short shot into the green to work with. I definitely go up and over though. This might put us, this is probably going to be rough, but again, that's okay. We can work with it. Not too worried about it because we have a nice little short pitch shot coming up and a green that works with us. So if I slow it and take it a little bit long, that's all right, it'll work its way back. We're not too worried. Even if we end up short, we're not too worried, honestly. It's not the toughest of putts up. We a little bit went a little bit long. That's all right. Funnels all the way back down. And now we have ourselves a putt for birdie. And you're going to notice that a lot of the holes of this course kind of work that way. They kind of work in your favor. Watch me hit like a four under during this round. I mean, I've been absolutely crushing this course. Uh, I, I think a lot of you will as well. It's probably going to be a pretty high cut would be my guess. I think I saw in the CCA was, uh, it was like, I think it was an 18 under cut. So 19 under you made it. I'm guessing it's going to be something probably similar to that. Maybe even a little bit better this week. Cause I think that this course is a little bit easier than it was last week. This is another hole kind of like the first one. If you hit it up too high, that's actually okay. This again, this all funnels back down. And if you can actually get it up high enough without it going like into the fringe or the rough, you can actually funnel it all the way back down past the hole. So you give yourself an opportunity to potentially hit a hole in one um, by hitting it past. So that's something to keep, you know, kind of at the back of your mind. But if you go a little bit long, that's okay. Even if you go short, it's, it's you can recover nicely. Nice. All right, we have that to work with. There is a touch of ghost break on this course though that I've noticed, so just kind of get down and look at every putt and just make sure. Make sure that there isn't, you know, a, any little break with your putts. Just get down and look at them. Cause there is, there is some spots where I've, I've ran into a little bit of ghost break. All right, this one, we're gonna keep this 
right so that we have more green to work with. If you get it too far left, you have to worry about bunker. You don't want to do that. So what I've been doing is I've been just keeping this, trying to keep this as right as possible. I've been fading it into the wind. And just keeping it here right side fairway. If you're not comfortable with this shot, then I mean, by all means, just plunk it down to the left. The last thing you want is to go into the rough or go into the, the bunker and not have a shot in on this because this is a very favorable par three or par five. Like, we can get up here pretty easily. So, um, I mean, if you're worried, then I would say just take it over. Just take it over to the left. You'll be fine. For me, though, I just want to kind of get it up there as far as possible, just so I have the shortest shot possible, so we have an eagle opportunity. Depending on what the default wins mean for this, you should be able to go after every single par 5 on this course with default wins, default speed. But we'll see, because society, it always differs. Default doesn't mean default in play now. So we'll just have to wait and see what we get for win. But you should be able to go after every single one of them. One of them you're going to have to use a driver to get to. But we don't care. We, we can take driver off the deck. We're fine by that. Let's see if maybe we can bury home an eagle here. That'd be really awesome. Nope, front side. Yep. Man, front side kills me. I should have took that little bit of power off. Thought I was gonna pick up a little bit more speed than it did. We get another birdie though. We're three under through three. Right where we wanna be, that's for sure. And here we go, we got another favorable distance wise. I'm gonna bury this a little bit just cause I wanna take a little distance off. Didn't all. I got a little greedy. I got a little greedy. Normally what I've been doing is taking three iron in and just playing it a little bit short, but. That's okay. I wanted to go for it. Cause I want a hole in one. A better route right there probably would have gone for a partial three, but. We'll be all right. We get a par. It's not the end of the world. No matter what some people say that pars are killers, but it's not the end of the world. We will survive. We're gripping and ripping. This is what I mean though. You're gonna be hitting a lot of fairways. You're gonna be hitting a lot of fairways. You're gonna be hitting a lot of greens this week. I had to run one round where I went 100% and I think I only missed one green, pretty sure. We don't want this to end up too short. Ah, slowed it. Oh, speaking of the missed green. Dang. Yeah, we slowed that bad. This is a little bit of a killer. Uh, this is a tough little get up. We're gonna try though. This isn't the easiest to get up, so. Eh, not great, but. Not a bad putt to save our par. That's why you don't want to hit it too short, because you have to deal with that uh, little front there, and it can be a killer. I I've I've. I would say don't chip it. I have chipped it and it has rolled back down at me, so. Don't do that. We're gonna grip and rip right over the bunker. We slowed it, but the fairway works in our favor. Nice. Now we have a nice little shot coming in on this, uh, this par five. 
And see, like I said, it's, it's, it's it, they're pretty, they're not, they're pretty short. The part fives are pretty short. You'll be able to go after, you'll be able to go after a lot of these par fives. And this is why the scores are going to be, I think, very low this week. Because you're going to, a lot of people are going to have chances, you know, like that. Where we just bang home an eagle using a, a four iron that we've dotted up a little bit. Because the greens aren't, they're not too difficult. So even if you're 25, 30 feet away, you can still make some of those. We're gripping and ripping again. Just up and over. The course is fairly straightforward when you when you're out with the driver. Um, there is one hole in particular where it's. Uh, I think of it a little bit, but. Just depending on what you like. But it's definitely not a, a crushing experience. Um, taking it off the box. I usually like to be a little bit more pin high with this, but... Ooh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Dang, 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 dang. Yeah, I like to be a little bit more pin eye. Every putt's makeable, though. All right. You know what we're going to do. We're going for it. I like to fade it in just so I can cut some of this hill out. If you go long, that's okay. If you end up too far right, though, that putt is, it's almost impossible. So don't do that. Ah. Dang it. Oh, I want you guys to see what it looks like hitting that green. Man, that, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. That's all right. Let's just get it up here, get our birdie, move on. But the ball comes in very nicely if you can hit a good shot. Cause what you wanna where you wanna land it is you want it to be fading in and hitting and then kind of riding this down towards the hole. Um on medium fast, even on fast greens, like it, it the ball stops pretty nicely. So you kinda wanna hit it like you want it to fade in and land somewhere like in here and have it bounce and then kind of just ride this wave down towards the hole is what you're looking for. So however you can do that. I just fade it just to cut a little distance off because it is downhill. I mean, it's it's downhill a ton. I do it just to cut a little distance off and to cut that hill down a little bit. But if you want to just take a straight in, take a straight in. Whatever you're most comfortable with, that's just that's kind of just like the path that's the path you want to take down towards the hole. But this is one that you, you you need to at least get a birdie on for sure. And if you end up too far to the right up that hill, it's really hard to get a birdie. This one's a little bit tougher just because of where you need to land it, which is like in here. So you got to hit a pretty perfect shot. It's uphill, so we got to deal with that. Wind's a little bit different than what I was working with. And that would have been good distancing. Too bad we fasted it. And pulled it. But again, makeable putt. You know, it's it's definitely a makeable putt. This is one of the holes that has a little bit of ghost break in the middle. Just like right in, in this area here. There's a little touch of ghost break sometimes. Don't know if it'll be here, but we're going to find out. Yeah, a little bit left to right. 
Dang. Bent a little left to right, and then it bent back a little touch left. We're six through nine, though. That's not, that's not terrible. All right, this is a hole that it depends on what you're comfortable with. So if you plug this thing down here, it is downhill enough that you're going to have a pretty short pitch shot. Sometimes you can get a flop shot in there. But if you don't want to do that, if you want, like, maybe a, a, a full wedge... Uh, not a wedge, sorry. An iron shot in, you can actually take a three wood, or you can do a, a partial driver. If you can get it up far enough, you can get it into a wedge territory, but the three wood gets you into a nice little iron territory, so it's just whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, I mean, we're going to pound this thing down and... And then red fast it into the bunker, you know? So then you guys get to see bunker play. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. Taking an iron in, though, it, it isn't a bad idea, just the way that this, just because of the way that this green's set up. Oh, I came out so far right. Dang. This isn't ideal. This has probably been, this is probably the worst position I've been on this green, so that's fun. We're just going to go for a lag. As good as a lag can be. We just got to get it close. Or in the cup. Oh, close it is. Well, you get to see how the bunker play works out. Just don't do that. If you gray fast it, it comes in nicely for a, either a pitch, partial pitch, or a flop, whatever whatever you are most comfortable with, you can get. Um, this one I am going to play back, just because this comes in here, and it gets really deadly. It's in between, like, flop pitch. It's even in between different flops. So, uh, I take three wood in, just to give myself a little bit more club selection coming in uh, to this green. But again, if you're comfortable with doing like partial pitches, partial flops, you know, if you're comfortable with that, then by all means, just bring it right on in um, with your driver. But I'd rather have this shot in than have a partial coming in, personally. Pulled it. We pulled it. Not what we were looking for. Like I said, I've been shooting this really well, so let's come out here and lay a dud down. <laughs> I've been shooting this course masterfully. As soon as we as soon as we hit the record button, that all goes downhill. <laughs> Come on. Man, that's just tough. Honestly, I mean, it kind of works out. You guys get to see worst case scenario. I'm glad these are medium fast. Fast greens from that position probably wouldn't have been too good. Could have got that. Could have got pretty ugly. Yeah, look at that. Seventeen under. Somebody shot. Even with the wind, we can make this. We are not worried one bit. We are banging it down. Oh yeah. Hit that slope. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got a nice little lob wedge coming in here. Excuse me? Dart. Yes. Yes.
Okay, here we go. This, we're going to get back on track. We're going to get to my like 12, 13 under, you know, kind of where I have been shooting. But if I do get there, I mean, that just kind of goes to show just like, just how you can put the gas on at this course. We got to get rid of those red fast though. This is probably, and this is, no, nah, it's not even probably. This is going to be my worst fairway in regulation. I've shot at this course yet. So normally you could go for this. I usually put it up over here though, just because the green, it's not that bad. So I just get it out of, in up over here and go for a 15 footer instead of trying to go for it and having it scale off to the left or short it or slow it and then have to deal with this hill coming back up. Um, but that's up to you, you know, on how much you want to go after this one. But I've been just poking it long and to the right a little bit, getting it up into a position where I can actually have a chance at birdie. I almost got it to where I wanted it. It's unfortunate. Nice. Nice. We will take that recovery for a birdie. Or, you know, you can just do that. You know what I just did. <laughs> you can just do that real fast. We're going to play the hill a little bit. I just need to get it to stop and kind of come back. This wind's a little bit different than play now. The wind was a little bit more in my face. This crosswind makes this a little bit more challenging. Of course, we great fast it. Well, let's see what happens when we hit straight into this hill hard. Oh, we're not even going to get there. Man, that great fast took off a lot. Holy cow. That was actually kind of nuts. Well, this is uphill. Bummer. I don't know how to, I mean, I guess probably just try to go straight at the hole and then hope that you don't slow it. I guess it would be the best bet for that, for that hole right there. Let's go for the hole. I was just worried about really messing that up and having a nasty ass putt all right we are gonna fade this in i'm gonna aim it right in here right down the middle that way if we fast are all right and if we slow it we should be okay too that's how i have been playing it again the fairway kind of works in your favor so nice Actually worked out beautifully for us. We're taking a dead ad dead ass three iron in. That came off so far right. I thought I aimed enough for it, but uh, that was... No, I did not. That's okay. Even if we go light rough there or heavy rough there, we probably still at least get pretty close to getting it up to the green. Yeah, there's not a lot. Like, I, again, the course guide that's... I guess this has turned more into just like... How would you play the course, Zane? There are some courses where it's like, dude, tips and tricks definitely help, but there's some courses that are straight up and that's, there's nothing wrong with that either. Like at all. There is zero wrong with just like a, a straight up course, you know, where it's just like, it doesn't, it, it's not, it's not insanely difficult and it's not extremely easy. You know, it just kind of 
falls into that like average skill level and like it's just just hit good shots i mean is what it comes down to you know just hit good shots there's there's nothing nothing wrong with that at all because i do like this course a lot i just really wish i could stop great fasting Wouldn't that be great? I think that'd be swell. All right, let's get an 11 under at least. This is the one hole where we might have to take driver off the deck, potentially. This is the one hole. Now yeah, we're still gonna have to take driver off the deck. Gripping and ripping. I wanna keep this as close right as I can without going into the rough. Uh, it's a little too, as uh, 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 not, not the greatest. I gotta let him get quite far enough up the hill. I'm a little disappointed in that. I'm not disappointed in that, though. All right, let's take this thing to an 11 under, shall we? Again, let's get down and look at this one. I think it will be good. Just all depends on how much it's gonna break my feet. Eh, a little bit of ghost break back to the right there. Dang. 10 under. Unfortunately, my worst round I've shot here, but still a good round. I mean, 10 under is, I mean, I'm completely happy with a 10 under. I mean, you should probably be happy with a 10 under out of the course you play. Right now I'm T9 for PC, but it's still very early for that. But overall, not not a not a bad round, but that is Matapuri Match Club. Pretty straightforward course. You're gonna be hitting a lot of fairways. You're gonna be hitting a lot of greens. You're gonna have a lot of one putt opportunities as long as you can put in the shots, even if you miss some shots. You can get yourself into a 20, 25 footer that is a very makeable putt, like a 50, 50 putt kind of situation. And I think scores are going to reflect that. So if you're out there, challenge circuit maybe put a little, little time in if you're worried about missing a cut or if you really want to make a cut maybe put a little more time in with this course because the scores are out there to shoot just insane low numbers that's all she wrote for me in this challenge circuit course guide or i guess a walkthrough course walkthrough i don't know might change the name anyways thank you for watching Really appreciate you. Thank you for giving me your time today watching it. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Good luck on your rounds this week, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.